inside the historic botanical garden. The northern 13 acres of the zoo is the area that was planted by Dr. Nairling in the 1920s. So when you're walking under the shade of these beautiful, almost ancient trees, it's really pleasing experience that there's a lot of shade here at the Naples Zoo. You can find a sunny spot if it's a cool winter day, but there's a lot of shade here and our guests do appreciate that when you're trying to take your time and walk around and enjoy. We've got you know, 70 some park benches here along this one, one t uh, eight tenths of a mile path. So there's plenty of times for shade, for leisure, take your time. Most of our guests will spend about four to six hours with us because we have so many activities during the day. Because Naples Zoo is located uh, inside a historic botanical garden and a lot of the plantings date back to the 1920s, daily we have a tropical plant trek and that happens at noon every day and a master botanist comes out and leads our guests on a tour of the most notables in the botanical collection. And depending on the interest of the people taking the tour, it might be 20 minutes. We've had folks out here for two hours who are as fascinated with our botanical growth as they are with the wild animals here at the Naples Zoo. So it's one more opportunity that makes Naples Zoo a very interactive facility. All you gardening buffs out there, be sure to check out the gardens here at the zoo where you can take your own leisurely tour or even take a seat and sit back and relax and enjoy your surroundings. The Naples Zoo at Caribbean Gardens has been around since the 1900s when the Caribbean Gardens were established in 1919. The Naples Zoo is a member of the AZA or the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. The Naples Zoo at Caribbean Gardens is a great alternative to some of the crazy attractions that Florida seems to be known for. When you visit the zoo, you can visit at your own pace Stop by and check out the exhibits and just take a leisurely stroll throughout the zoo. Check out the animals and the beautiful gardens that they have here to offer. You don't have to worry about the chaos and the long lines and some of those other attractions and still have a wonderful and relaxing afternoon by visiting the Naples Zoo. Now during your time here at the garden, you're going to definitely want to take a look up. And the reason is, most all of this plant material has been here for many, many years and is quite mature, has weathered many a tropical storm coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. You'll see sable palms, royal palms, uh, traveler's palms, white bird of paradise, reclinata palms, an array of trees, coconut palms, anything that you would imagine they have here and bear in mind it's gonna be huge and it's gonna be gorgeous now that's really important because a lot of these palms and a lot of these trees you may want to select for your home garden but now that you see how big they get you may find that you'll need to go with maybe a medium-sized tree or a dwarf tree variety maybe your property won't sustain some of these larger trees now, there's not a lot of annual flowers here, the real small flowers, but most of the color you're going to see is from a vast array of many different kinds of plant material. You're going to see plenty of flowers, but this facility is really known for its mature vegetation and its spectacular display of pristine Florida horticulture. Naples Zoo is located in Naples, Florida. It is on the southwest coast of Florida. Uh, the southwest Florida is, is a vacation paradise. We not only have this great attraction, we're very proud of nationally accredited zoo here in South Florida, but it's a great place to come if you're interested in our wonderful beaches. We have some of the most gorgeous beaches in the state, in the country as a matter of fact. We have uh, one of the highest concentration of golf courses, the Thatcher Bag. Uh, shopping is unparalleled. We have some of the most outstanding shopping right here in Naples and also the Bonita, the Fort Myers area, it's all growing. So whatever your interest is, there's something to do in the area. 